Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Sidebar Chats. Today, we'll be joined by senior consultant Zach Wash to discuss how to do a digital spring cleaning, improving your cybersecurity posture online, that is. According to Ponemon Institute, Institute's State of Cybersecurity Report, 66% of small to medium-sized businesses have experienced some form of a cyber attack in the past year. And on the individual level, the rate of cybercrime has been steadily increasing too. So with that in mind, let's learn what we can do about it. Zach, why is it important to continuously stay on top of your security practices online? Well, first off, millions of people and organizations are unaware of how their data is used online every day. Uh, security isn't something that you can just do one time and forget about it. It's a continual process. Um, over time, threat actors and risk have grown and evolved and will continue to do so. So uh, cybersecurity posture has to grow and evolve to match the ever-increasing threat landscape. While the practices uh, we discussed may be enough to keep you secure, you got to be prepared to implement new practices like as they emerge. Yeah, that's a great point. So for a lot of people that don't work in the cybersecurity industry, threats like hacking, malware, ransomware might seem distant and complex, something that they read about in the news but never really expect to experience themselves. Why do you think everyone needs to take cybersecurity seriously? Well, here at Bar, we say that cybersecurity matters because it's all about the people. Every time we read about a hacking or cybersecurity threat in the news, it's typically full of big numbers, numbers of accounts hacked or credentials stolen. So it's important to remember that behind every piece of data is a real person who's less secure because of that breach. Whether personal information, credit card data, or their credentials were compromised, that, that person is less secure when you realize that the threat actors can do with the information. That's why it's important we educate and empower people to take control of their online security tech or online security without using fear tactics. That's a great point, especially about not using fear tactics. That's such a big problem in our industry. So for those individuals, what are some immediate actions that they could take today to protect themselves online? Well, some basic actions someone can take are first off awareness. As simple as it sounds, it's simply being cognizant while being online can make a difference. Are you using public Wi-Fi? Maybe you don't enter your banking details while at the local coffee shop. Does your website, does the website you're talking about enter your credit card information on the secure icon at the top, beginning with that, with the HTTPS um, rather than just HTTP. These are important things to check that you could be aware whether or not your connection is encrypted. Uh, then implement multi-factor authentication on your accounts, uh, otherwise known as MFA. A lot of people talk of that. Uh, use a password manager to store all your credentials. Um, make sure your device and software is up to date regularly. And then uh, always check your privacy set settings on social media. Awesome. Those are really good ones for everyone to be aware of. And so on the organizational level, what are some immediate actions that organizations can take to improve their security posture online? Well, there are plenty of long and complex guides on everything an organization can and should do to improve their cybersecurity posture. Um, I can simplify the basics into six steps to improve your cyber hygiene in short term. Uh, establish and communicate your cybersecurity standards. Uh, as basic as it sounds, all security should start with good governance, regardless of the size of your organization. Uh, sensible and accessible security policies and procedures in place is a great first step to uh, strengthen your cybersecurity overall. Uh, then define accountability within your organization. Cybersecurity starts with culture. It's important for one person to own cybersecurity, whether it's the chief security officer at the enterprise level organization or a virtual CISO security partner for your startup. Uh, back to MFA. It seems like we hear about that all day, but it's proven over and over again to be uh, effective protecting your credentials. Uh, keep your systems patched and up to date. Almost all software has vulnerabilities at some point that are looking to be exploited. Uh, so automate patching and upgrades on software and apps can stay up to date. Uh, schedule regular penetration tests or vul vulnerability assessments. Uh, this kind of testing is really about information sharing. You gain visibility in your network and can communicate between security and development teams and on any issues that arise. Uh, and then lastly, encryption. This is one of the simplest and cheapest security practices. Encry encrypting your data can render it unreadable to threat actors who break through your security in today's world. There's no excuse for leaving it out, work leaving it out of your workflows. 
Awesome. That's really great information for all organizations of every size. So really appreciate that answer. Um, one last question for you. So now that we've discussed some action items for both individuals and organizations, what are the immediate benefits that these organizations and people um, could see after implementing these practices? Well, outside of the obvious benefit, being more secure, the first benefit that comes to mind is peace of mind. Uh, with how much you hear about cyber threats in the news, knowing that you've taken a few immediate steps to be more secure should, should provide some peace of mind, especially for individuals. Um, for organizations, consider how these actions can prevent a breach that could cause significant financial or reputational damage. Staying on top of your security posture means uh, protecting both yourself and your customers. Awesome. Well, that was my last question for you today, Zach. So thank you so much for all of the valuable information on how to do a digital spring cleaning and stay on top of our security postures. I know I will be double checking that I have MFA enabled and I'm updating all of my devices. So I hope our listeners do the same. And thank you everyone for tuning in to today's episode of Cybar Chats. And we look forward to seeing everyone next time. Thanks, Zach. Okay.